now the hard one, the legendary sacristy room. So we have one man down. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Bring Hong Lu, bring Faust, bring Heath, and then we want to bring a few people who can take some hit that we may not be able to take. So we'll bring Otis, and we'll bring. Let's think about this. Someone with slashing, preferably. Probably you. Uh, you're weak. You're fatally weak to that, though. So it's gonna be kind of rough. I need someone who is resistant to Pierce. Uh, so these two are designated uh, stabby takers. So if we if they use a just uh, a just shell and we do not have anything they can win, we just use them as the bait. Everyone else here is uh, basically either a DPS or a clash winner. Yep. Oh, this is my good clash winner. These two are the clash winners that I've been using so far. Faust is great for her clashing as well. She's a bit low on the HP though. Could be tricky, but she has the pierce resist that I so desperately need. Okay, yeah, this looks pretty alright. This one looks like a fun challenge actually, because I usually have Ishmael for this run. But I think I can mix it up a little bit and try this team comp. Alright. Oh, cool. Off the bat, we get a block. That's nice. We have two egos at the start, and because we pre fought, we have sanity. So, let's see. What shall we do today? We need to definitely beat a just shell. Can a 6 to 20 win? It can. Let's not use the ego then. Then let's see. We can use the ego on the other a just shell. And then now we just need a decent move kind of beat out Bone Blast. Let's think about this. Do I want to redirect anything? I think that maybe Heathcliff hitting Bone Blast could be okay. Yes. Uh, it's a bit rough though, it's, it's for attack. If can't take that, then we should use someone else to eat it. So let's use Faust. 4 to 12. I guess that Bone Blast, that's fine. And then we use Heathcliff to eat this Bone Blast, that's fine. And lastly, you... Uh, Hong Lu. Unfortunately, Hong Lu got all his heal ones, so it's not very favoured to get the eye here. But it's still our best odds, and even if he loses... Ah, shit, he's weak to flash. Ah, this is pretty... Kind of oop. Eh, I guess we have to take it. If this, Honestly, the, the, the first few turns are what defines this uh, challenge. So if you get some really bad rules where, for example, three of them or four of them shoot a just shell, just restart. And we're gonna see what happens in this clash. If only one person gets staggered here, I would call it a winner, really. This fight is pretty RNG heavy, but it is manageable. Unfortunately, they endure uh, piercing attacks, so you just have to deal with that. Nice! One more? One more? Yeah! Good job, Heath! Oh, come on! Win it! Oh. Thank you very much, Otis. Nice job, Val. The extra SP is really helping our clashes here. Okay, very good. So now we've gotten them to a manageable uh, instinct level. They're all doing Eerie Eye. Perfect. So the counter attack is always slack. Remember that. So use people who are kind of resistant to slash. I think that's only OT, unfortunately. So. Yeah, Thorn here is going to have to take a pretty big hit. And in this case, it looks like that person will be Yi Sang because he is actually pretty beefy in terms of stagger. So, I'm going to see if this wins. No, nope. okay. Uh, hmm. I kind of think I have no choice but to take this with this. The problem is that the counter move is really annoying. 
Because if I do a two hitter, Isang will get hit twice, and that's really bad. That's a lot of damage. I'm trying to figure out a way to mitigate all this damage. I definitely want Otis to hit someone here for sure, so let's do Otis first. We can do a uh, two hitter with Otis and take care of this one. So she wins that, she gets hit twice, but it's ineffective, so it doesn't matter. And we can make Hong Lu hit with twos or him with ones. I might have no choice but to use Heathcliff here on Eerie Eyes and he takes the hit. He will get staggered from this, but it's probably for the best. Alright, then the rest of the team is on damage duty for the others, making sure we reduce this guy's instinct to zero, otherwise we'll be in trouble next turn. Upward Slash is great here. Dual Strike is great. Uh, can win that one for sure. And then we do something like uh, this. And we slap Thals on top because I trusted my Thals a little bit more. Okay, so everything is being clashed. Looks right. And we can remove the Flectral Block. Nice. Wait, what? Uh, hmm? Should have been ineffective. Okay then, I did not expect that. Well, that was rough. Now I have two staggered. Ugh. Shit, I don't know what happened there. It should have worked the way I thought it would. Okay, let's see. I have Whirlwind. Whirlwind beats out a Just Shell pretty well. I have this, which beats out a Just Shell pretty well. And I just need to kind of min do some damage mitigation. We'll let that fly and hit him. We can't let these. Well, we have to, we have no choice but to let one of them hit him. Unfortunately, falls too slow. No. Shit, this is rough, man. Okay, but Isang is reducing the attack of this guy, so we can let that fly, and we can do this on this guy. Yep. Yeah. I think that's the way. This because this guy is getting attack down anyway, and we can use the puncture here to attack down him for next turn one side only. It's fine if they increase their instinct by maybe one or two, but if they go to three, then you're in trouble. So yeah, just this fight is just a lot of management. Even if you screw up on reading a little bit, like I did probably. I was almost certain it was two flashes as well. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure why it suddenly hit the fly. Oh yeah, Yuri Ice hits for quite little actually, now that I think about it. So it's pretty good. Alright, so we got two counters with Yuri Ice and we got those. Eerie eye and adjust shells in the background, so let's see. I have a simple move here that can beat it. I have a simple move here that can beat it. Well, I don't want to use this move. I'd rather her not take any more damage, to be frank. I think Heathcliff, you can take that. And then with this, we can beat this. And with this, we can beat this. Yep, that looks fine to me. And then Faust can just hit anyone she wants. Alright, that. Okay, looks good to me. This fight could be easier if you brought someone with very high single target damage, because then you break the right arm and then you can just focus fire that guy down really fast. In my case, I don't have any crazy strong units, so I have to really slowly uh, break their arms. Yeah, we're getting close though. Ow! Sorry, Heath. No choice.
Alright. Nice, we're gonna need to do it with two people this turn. Let's see, we got two adjust shells this turn. Kind of sucks. Then we got an eerie eye at the back. Okay. So the two adjust shells must be beaten. We will pop two eagles to ensure that happens. Okay, looks like that is an option, unfortunately. I can only choose to use one ego here. Let's see, a 4 to 12 versus a just shell. Not good enough. Let's see, then. Do a strike? Does he have the coin power? Ah, maybe he does, I think. Oh, he has a deck power up. Perfect. He can probably win that. Then we'll pop for one ego here. Uh, let's see, I think it would just be better if I use this. On this. Yep, alright, that's good. Now we need to intercept some of these eerie eyes that are flailing away at my boy over here. The 4 to 12 slashing, that's better than puncture, that's for sure. Choker flip guy. And 3 to 10 can dominate that guy. Hmm, actually, that guy is a bit more priority. Because he's not getting hit this turn, so he'll gain one instinct. Gotta manage that gotta manage that instinct still. Let's see. Uh, I don't like full blade. I think we throw that away. Alright, looks fine to me. Let's let that fly. Oh, so close to breaking. Nice, that broke. Oh, please, Faust, please, Faust, don't lose. Oh, thank you, Faust. So nice, but it's thankfully quite low damage. Okay, we got a counter here. I need someone to eat that clash, and someone to eat the back clash as well. And then I want a lot of good DPSs to pound the shit out of this guy. So DPS pound here. DPS. Mm. Looks like a Hong Lu tank this moment. Yep, Hong Lu will tank that. And to beat that area in the back, we can use my boy here. And then everyone else with lots of multiple damage attack, multiple coin attacks, go hit him. Try and kill him if possible. Looking good. Yep, we can remove this skill and we'll keep that skill. Okay, get some good rolls on Faust. We should have minus one. Ow, okay, that's good. Alright, oh, the arm lived. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Whew. That's two adjust shells this turn. Do I have any good coins that can be adjust shells this turn? I have dual strike. That's good. I also have Otis. I want to guarantee the win on that thing. So I'm gonna pop Otis's move here. Okay, and then we have to counter all of the Yuri eyes that are coming this way. We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do this. Alright, yeah, look at that. So much easier to handle now when they all don't have instinct. I think this is the only chance to lose. Uh, he is normally resistant to Pierce. Nah, should be fine, should be fine.
Nice. Free stagger. Ooh. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, nice. Two counters at the back. That's really good. Okay, I need someone with one hit to eat this. You, you eat that. Everyone else, wail away at this fellow over here. We are going for a kill here, folk. Everyone, fire everything. Let's try and get a kill. Yeah! Nice! One down, three more to go. Okay, no counters this turn, only one adjust shell to deal with, and he looks pretty much dead. Gonna pop my ego, gonna intercept the adjust shell, and we are going to will with you, going to Charles ego with you. And we are going to backslash you, and we are going to consume that deflect and hit you. Uh, no, not hit you. Get that thing down. It's quite close to tree. Nice. Casual eighty six damage. Don't worry about it. Alright, wanna just shell this turn, pop it with Greg, win rate. Hmm. I'd rather get a guaranteed win here, and then you can use it on this. Yep, looks good. Now we can do this, this, and here, and here. Yep, looks pretty good. Here comes the bag. We can actually auto battle this, which is kind of funny. But uh, I think we can probably optimize a little bit. Let's see. Uh, we only need one person to deal with you, then the rest can just target this guy over here with a billion damage. Yeah. This fight pretty much won at this point. Okay, that guy's countering. I can actually just win rate. This fight is won. Oh, uh, except no, that's an adjust shell. Sorry about that. Almost through the game. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Ah, nice one, everyone. And there you go, Sanctuary cleared. 